I think I just really enjoy giving blowjobs. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Baby, take notes. Hello. Oh, is it fucking time? Smooth talk up. Ah, uh, when I walk, moon walk up. Be careful, I'm booting the game. It might be a little loud. Lunar, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Cybonics. Okay, it's a little loud. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. That's still way too loud. Bro, this is a banger. This, that was me, by the way. Sorry, I'm just uh, getting this. Uh, oh my God, this song goes hard. How is it? Is it too loud? Is it good? It's a little loud for me, but I could just turn down my headphones. It's more about what matters to you. It's good? Okay. Crank it up. All right, just let me know once I hit, like, when we're playing. If it's too low, if the sounds are too high, whatever, just let me know. All right, let's get into it. Wait, there's three cases? The Mystery of Crime Manor. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Do, 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 do. do you ever walk into a room and forget you were go what you were gonna do in there? Huh? Uh. Mm, huh? Oh, that was it! Huh? Mm -hmm. do, do. I was gonna solve a crime! Ah, uh, yes, of course, the classic Bloody Maze. What the hell is he doing? Mace. Eyeballs. Oh my word! It's a mace. Who would leave this lying around? Huh? Yeah. Someone could stub their toe. Yeah. Huh? This is dangerous. Mm -hmm. huh? I better put it where it belongs. Wait, he just picked up the fucking. Huh? I don't know what this stuff is, but it means that a crime happened. Oh, really? Pick it up. Pick up the blood. I should really mop this up, but I have nothing to mop it up. Is he a fucking janitor? I'd use my face, but that doesn't work. I know from experience. Inexplicably, inexplicably photorealistic trash. It is the inexplicably... Jesus, I can't fucking speak. It is the inexplicably photorealistic trash. I'd investigated, but 
Yeah. Kind of smelly. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, the high resolution gives me the heebie jeebies. Okay. Yeah. I'll put this right where it belongs the trash. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's a photograph uh, of my brother here at the crime scene. Wait, this means the culprit is a photographer. Hmm. My proudest possession, this ancestral time, please. Blah, blah, blah. I guess a big clock was here, huh? Suspicious. Was this left by the criminal? Hmm. He just walked in the blood. Hey, this painting looks a lot like the guy who owns this place. Don't, don't, don't. What a weird coincidence. Very, very weird. Yeah. Footprints. Uh, uh, they seem to be leading somewhere. Uh, uh, don't, don't. Or maybe leading from somewhere. Uh, don't, uh, or maybe leading within somewhere. Holy shit. Don't, don't, uh, a door. I have lots of those back home. It's my brother, Instigator. <laughs> Here in the closet, right next to the crime. Dang. Aya. Why are you here? What are you doing here, of all places? Are you here to help me solve the crime? Oh. Yeah, I'm here to do that. This is a good voice. This is a good voice. Huh. That thing you just said. This is a good voice. Huh. The crime. Huh. Solve the crime. Huh. Huh. Oh, good. You're always such a big help. Huh. In fact, huh. Huh. if you run... Wait, sorry. Wrong voice. In fact, if you run into any evidence, bring it to me so I can help you. You know, with the crime. Huh. That'd be great. Huh. What's this red stuff all over you? Uh, 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 this, uh, it's uh, it's ketchup from a burger I, uh, that I ate. You always were a messy eater. Some of those stains never washed out. <laughs> you think that ketchup on the floor too? Oh, definitely. Whoever did this crime is clearly a big Chup fan. Hey, that's a clue. I figured out what the crime was. Someone stole. A clock. Great work. Hey, on a completely unrelated note, if you ever need to know what time it is, I've got you covered. Good to know. Catch you later, instigator. You'll never catch me. Huh? Huh? I trust you completely. They're blueprints. In order to break into the house, the first require a... This is too boring. It can't be a clue. Hey, I found these blueprints right next to you. Do you know anything about them? Don't read those. They're not important. Yeah, they seem pretty boring. Hey, I found this photo of you in the trash. You know what this means, right? Uh, hmm. That's right. Hmm. The criminal is a photographer. Hmm. Did you happen to see him? Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Sorry. Sounds like you're on the right path, though. Good thing I got my brother here to help me out. If I didn't have my brother here, this shit would be hard. Hmm. That's the exit. Hmm. I think that's how I get in. got in here. Can I leave? Hmm. I can't leave yet. I haven't solved the crime. Oh. Do I have an inventory? God, I'm stumped, guys.
Uh, 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 uh. What are you looking at? Huh? You! Let me in there, man. Guys, I don't think I'm that good at this. What else is there to look at? What am I missing, actually? Mm -hmm. I guess it's just the inexplicably realistic trash now, huh? Hard stuck in the first level. I don't know what they want me to do. I, I feel like I've looked at everything, but maybe I've missed something. I'll keep looking. I showed him the blueprints. I showed him the photo. And I can't look at the blueprints myself. I don't think. Unless there's a button that I don't know of. Hold on. Probably not. This gives you a little, oh, this is top shit that you're supposed to look at. Painting looks like the guy that owns the place. What a weird coincidence. That's it. Dude, how am I actually hard stuck on the first level? Oh, wait, I got an... Good thing, my, good thing blueprints are known for their highly sponge-like properties. <laughs> Cleaning all that ketchup up? Yup. No sense leaving a crime scene messy after all. It's important to get things back to normal. I couldn't agree more. Don't miss that spot over there. Good catch. A scale. Hmm. That could only mean... The crimester has red scales. Better take this in as evidence. Wait a minute. So the criminal stole a clock and left Chup everywhere? And there's a photograph of my brother reaching for the clock on the crime scene. And I found a scale in the puddle of Chup on the floor. Oh! I think I know who did it. I can't wait to tell my brother. Aya! Instigator? I figured out who did the big crime. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, y you see. Don't try and hide it. I'm certain there's a reasonable exhalation that here that clearly proves it was you! Wait, what? Darn it, you caught me. <laughs> How'd you figure it out? <laughs> no, seriously, who is this guy? How'd I figure it out? Just intuition, I guess. Oh, and he told me he'd done the crime right before I came in here. Wait, wait. I didn't do it? I could have sworn I did it. Well, shucks. Guess it's like prison for me. I am extraordinarily confused. Jail it is. Uh, where is that again? Oh, I know the way. Here, I'll show you. That would be great. I, um, I guess I'll just finish up here. See you at home tonight. A red herring. <laughs> really? Don't know it's me. Instigator went to be... <laughs> Instigator went on to be unaccused for any of the crimes for a really alarming length of time. Red herring was given 30 consecutive light sentences, but was released the next day on good behavior. Aw. Instigator got lost on his way home, but he eventually found his way back. Oh, investigator. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Episode two. We're already on episode two. Now then, Mr. Crime, can I call you Mr. Crime? A fitting name for the perp who stole all the diamonds? Ugh. See, you thought you could get away with it by hiding them all back in the earth. But you didn't count on the one, on one thing, the radioactive isotope that... Mr. Gator, I think you're confused. I'm here to request your help. Oh. Sorry, mix you up with a different case. I'd like to begin by thanking you for solving the theft in my home the other night. Back in episode one? It's like ages ago. But that's not the crime I hired you to solve. I knew there was something fishy about that case. I need your help now more than ever. The kidnappers have delivered another ransom note. See for yourself. All right. Let's see here. Dear Daddy. Oh, no. That part's crossed out. Excuse me. What the fuck? Dear Mr. Griselda's dad, we're kidnappers and we napped your kid. Give her a pony or you'll never see me again. Ha, ha, ha. Love the kidnappers. Godzooks! Can I say Godzooks? Do you mind? It's indeed very Godzooks situation, Mr. Gator. Well, Godzooks then. I guess I should investigate. Let me just go get my notebook. That's the client, Mr. Crime. I don't have funny, anything funny to add. This is a very serious case. Yeah. Egress. I think that's some kind of bird. Oh, no. There's too many characters. Red Herring. Fancy meeting you here. Our parole officer told me not to talk to you anymore. Huh? Have you tried not listening? Uh, yeah, okay. What can I do for you? I'm looking for my notebook. It's small, blue, and has detailed notes on every crime I'm investigating. I usually leave it lying around here. Have you seen it? Uh, oh, yeah. I, th I think your brother had it. He was behind the desk in the lobby. Well, that can't be right. Instigator doesn't work here. This guy loves ketchup. Still making a mess with those burgers, huh? Yeah. You know, I used to be a blue herring. That's a, that's a joke. That's a joke about how much ketchup I eat. I'm, I'm sorry. As you should be. A broom handle? Looks like it's missing the broom. I'll say someone should clean it up, but without a broom, beats me how. Could be useful. Huh? Bell. Yeah. Bell. Yeah. Bell. Yeah. Ow. Uh, um. I'm the secretary. Yeah. yeah. I'm the secretary here at the police station. Yeah. You sure are. Yeah. I'm not your brother in disguise. Yeah. I can't imagine why you would be. Huh? Well, what can I do for you? Notebook? Uh, 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 have you seen my notebook around here? Uh, uh, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, uh, I wasn't tampering with any evidence. Uh, uh, I was uh, never seen a notebook in my life. Uh, uh, well, that sounds reasonable. Uh, Hold on. Uh, uh, Don't always have to believe what people are saying. Uh, I don't? Yeah, it's it's actually a pretty a pretty big part of being a detective. Uh -huh. Sounds fake, but okay. Uh -huh. See, if you think someone's telling the truth, you can trust them. Uh -huh. If you think they're hiding something, you can doubt them. Uh -huh. And if you have evidence that proves they're lying, you can call them out on their lie. Uh -huh. I agree that you can do that. Uh. -huh. uh 
Hey. Huh? Thank you for bringing that up to me. Oh, this is the nicest anyone's ever been to me. Okay. I don't know what to do. Better go talk to the secretary. I need a man. Huh? Ahem. Now then, I believe I was asking you about that notebook. I'm telling you, I have no idea what a notebook is. I doubt that. I can't believe you doubt your own bro- Uh. Alright, fine. I'll talk. There's a notebook over there in that statue's mouth. I didn't accidentally throw it over there or anything, though. Thanks for- Thanks for the intel. Huh? Maybe I can maybe I can knock it down with this. Huh. Huh? Darn it! I thought that worked. Oh. Huh? 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 Oh, here it is. Now I can keep track of what people were saying. I feel like somebody wanted me to get this. Hey, yourself. If only I'd written it down. The chief has insisted we spruce the place up a bit with some plants. But I'm pretty sure this isn't a spruce at all. <laughs> Fucking so dumb. <laughs> That's where we keep all the important files. Sometimes I leave stuff in there that I think is important, like my lunch. The chief doesn't like that very much. Bell. Huh? So why are you here? I was asked to answer a few more questions, which is weird because I was already convicted, sent to jail, and released. But I'm happy to help, I suppose. That's a claim, mm -hmm. Mr. Crime. Do, do. Hmm? I've got my notebook. Do, do, do. Huh? I'll be asking yeah. you a few questions now, if you don't mind. Of course, Mr. Gator. What do you need to know? Now, where was your daughter last seen? I dropped her off at school yesterday morning. I guess you'd have no reason to lie about that, huh? Was Griselda acting differently that morning? Well, not really. Hmm. Are you alright? You seem upset. Alright, alright. You're a great detective, you know what? You know that? The truth is, we had an argument that day. She wanted a pony, you see. And you wouldn't give her one? No! Not until her birthday. I wanted it to be a surprise, so I said she couldn't have one. Weird coincidence that the kidnappers wanted a pony too. Well, I think that's about all I need. Guess I'll go check out the school. Chief's doors bro <laughs> How is this guy sound? It vet No, I don't know. Angry? Yeah, I know angry, but like what kind of accent? He's fucking it down. Okay, New York Italian or or New York police investigator. Huh? Huh? Uh oh, better see what the chief wants. <laughs> ah, investigator. <laughs> Glad you're here. <laughs> we need to talk about your brother. All right. <laughs> investigator. You're my top detective, I think. Do I have any other detectives? I don't actually know. Thanks, Chief. I'm not really sure either. Now listen. 
We need to debrief. Okay, I'll give you some privacy then. I... What? No, you need to tell me about the cases you've been on recently. Uh, what case you want right now? Uh, Mr. Crime needs me to find his kidnapped daughter. And he doesn't want to know anything about any of the crimes in his house? Say anything involving that clock heist the other day? Nope. Right? You know where we keep the case files, say Fanny and any involving your brother? I don't think there's any of those, but you know better than me. Excuse me, I'm not your brother. How would I? Well, yeah, you're the chief. You'd know better than me. I just realized this is his brother. I no joke. Like, I actually thought it was a different character that was a, a fucking alligator. I thought it was a different character at first. I swear to God. But if I had a guess, I'd probably be in one of the hidden compartments in the underside of your desk. You know, the secret one you told me not to tell anybody about? How's your brother doing? Oh, fine. He just found a whole briefcase full of glowing diamonds. I didn't ask where he got them. I sure he did. He sure am. I'm, I'm sure do. But you're not investigating him for any of the crimes, right? Oh, no. He hasn't been crimed on at all recently. Nobody's stolen from him or anything. Wait, that's not what I... You know what I'm... I'm glad to hear it. All right, well, great. Get out of here. That's it? Yeah. Hey, tell Red Eric to get lost, too. I already questioned him, and I don't want any witnesses around. Yes, sir. Oh, golly. It's kind of a mess in here, huh? Oh, it's not. I... Hey, whoa, knock it off, detective. Not everything needs to be looked at with that kind of scrutiny. Hey, Red. Chief told me to do the chief told me to tell you to get out of here. Okay, I'll just be heading home then. Hmm, actually, I could use a Watson. Come with me on this case. Oh, no, oh, no. My parole office is gonna hate this. Come on, let's go. Ding. To the school. Where's that again? Oh, I know the way. Good thing you know the way around town, because I sure don't. Too many characters in this game. Oh, um, can I help you? Are you one of the parents? No, ma'am. I'm a detective, and I'm investigating a kidnapping. Oh, that happens all the time here. Want me to wake them up? No, I mean... Oh, I just got it. A kidnapping? Here? At this school? Not sure Griselda's crime dad found the ransom note yesterday after school. Was she in class today? Oh, it's a weekend. Nobody was in class today. <laughs> Wait, why are you in here then? This is what teachers do over the weekend. They wait quietly in the classroom for the students to come back. That's normal, right? I think so. Mind if we take a look around for clues? Um, sure. Just don't go in my drawer. Oh, I'm Polly, by the way. Hey, if you need any help, feel free to bounce ideas off of my... I mean, I'm already here. I may as well be useful, right? I used to eat the chalk when I was a kid. I only stopped when I ran out of chalk. You should pick up some chalk. Hey, there's a clue in here. Oh, that's Griselda's locker. She insisted on putting the lock up to guard her diary. 
Of course, you can always reach around it. I have to solve this puzzle. Is that a bee? So energetic. That's the class B elf. He teaches them how to spell. It's ordinary to keep a pet elf in the classroom. Of course. Name, B.O.B. Titer, title, flower sniffing elf. Talent, smelling the best flowers. B.O.B. has a doctorate in flower sniffing. Take that. They also definitely designed this game. Hello, Game by Bees. Elf Dev, Jess OG. Thanks. I am going to cherish this elf with all of my heart. The children play with that elf. I really need you to put it back. Oh shucks. All right. Yeah. Reading is rad. Yeah. I don't know about gnarly though. Yeah. I haven't had a healthy breakfast in a while. I just keep eating cereal. Yeah. Cereal is terrible for alligators. One, five, eight. Yeah. Hmm. Doodles about ponies. Hey, Polly, is this where Griselda sits? Oh, usually, yeah. I wish she wouldn't doodle so much on the table. Every time I try to clean it, she yells. Hmm, maybe this is important to her. One, five, eight, huh? The combination worked. Griselda's secrets are mine. Item get. I really feel like I shouldn't be letting you mess with student things. Hmm, let me take here at the most recent page. Dear diary, I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna get a pony no matter what it takes. Wow, sure is a shame that she got kidnapped right before she got whatever her secret plan was. Oh man, I love these blocks. My favorite's the green ones. When I instant, when Instigator and I were kids. Sometimes all the green blocks would go missing. Yeah. Somehow they were always hidden away under my brother's bed. How mysterious. That's both the first mystery I ever investigated and the first mystery I never quite figured out. Economic law? It's very important to know about financial crime. Not that I'm embezzling money from the school or anything. Gosh, is that already the time? I better get the escape wrapped up soon. My soap operas are on tonight. Hey! What did I say about the draw? Hmm. Gotta find a way to distract her if I want to investigate this desk. Have you asked Polly everything you can think of? She's the closest thing we have to a witness. She's our best lead. You know what? You make a really good Watson. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, not at all. Uh, I think. Depends on the question. Was Griselda acting differently yesterday? No, she was being her normal tyrant self. I think she demanded a vig on a couple of other kids' juices boxes. <laughs> I like her. Sounds like a great kid. Oh, hey, don't you think maybe you should press her a little harder? She's your only witness. I didn't think I needed to press her about that. You're holding out on me, Polly. Um, oh my, I'll keep thinking. Um, uh, okay, wait. I've got something she... She said she was going to take pony-related matters into her own hands. I don't know what she meant by that, but she does love ponies a lot. Yeah. Any suspicious activity around here? Odd people? Ghosts? Nope. Nope. Actually, you're the only people I haven't recognized all week. You guys are with the 
police, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. I'd show you my badge, but the chief made me stop wearing it. Mm -hmm. Not because I was fired or anything. Mm -hmm. I just kept hurting myself mm -hmm. on the safety pin. Doesn't seem safe to me, let me tell you. That, that checks out. Mm -hmm. What's in the drawer? What's in the fucking drawer, Polly? You tell me what's in the damn drawer, Polly! Paperwork! <laughs> Nothing illegal, officer! No criminal doings! <laughs> hmm. But what if there is critical clues in there? I'm gonna look around. <laughs> okay, Red. I'm running out of ideas. How am I gonna investigate that drawer? I could uh, run distraction duty. <laughs> Sounds good. What could you do? I'm actually, uh, I'm really good at juggling. I really, like, really, really good. <laughs> Are you sure you don't really, you don't really don't look like the juggling type? <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Trust me. I'm going to do it out in the hall where there's more spice. Ahem. <laughs> Um, hey, look at me. Look at me. Um, look at me go. Wow, a handstand. Golly, look at my handstand. I'm Where did I even get these chainsaws? Yahoo, the chainsaws are fine now. Um, I think this is very dangerous. I'm so sure glad this is all visible to my audience. Look at me. Uh, look at me go. Wow, I'm uh, one handed. Wahoo, wow, a handstand. Golly, I'm looking at the handstand. I'm juggling with my feet now. Where did I get these chainsaws? Yahoo, the chainsaws are all fine now. I got this very day. I'm glad this is visible to my audience. No clues on search. <gasps> The final clue. An apple, of course. Did you? Oh, no! Listen, I can explain. No need. I've scoured this place for for clues, and I'm sure I found everything I need to solve this case. You should come along. Um, um, how much trouble am I in? Don't worry about that now. We've got a case to crack. Let's go. Oh, this room is nice. We were here yesterday. Ah, Mr. Gator, please come in. Have you learned anything helpful? I have. Gather round, everyone. How do you live here? I barely fit through this door and you're twice my size. So, Griselda was missing. Psst. That's the case we were on, right? Yeah, that's the case. So Griselda was missing. Right from the ransom note, things didn't quite make sense. If the kidnappers wanted a pony, why didn't they just go kidnap one? Whoa. It started to come together when I got my hands on Griselda's journal. The handwriting matched the ransom note. So why would Griselda have written the ransom? Then I found the apple in Griselda's teacher's desk. What's the apple got to do with this, you might ask? Nothing at all. That's the point. Once I found it, I realized I scubbed the classroom clean of all clues. I knew there was no clue found here in Crime Manor because I was here yesterday solving a different crime. So if there were no clues indicating a kidnapping in any of Griselda's last known whereabouts, where could she be? Do you really? Did you just hear something? <laughs> Hands up! It's the police! I should be upset at the property damage, but I like your style. Chief, glad you could make it. You're just in time for me to reveal the perp. Someone. I don't know what the voice to do with this. Someone knocked me out, tied me up, and left me in the alley outside the office. I'm gonna arrest that somebody extremely hard. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Why are you in my house? Hey, bro, you're just in time to see me crack the big case. The person who kidnapped Griselda was me. What? 
It must have been. All the clues have my fingerprints on them. That was my. The, that was the big break. I was at old crime scene, so I had an opportunity to hide all the major evidence. Luckily, I missed a few pieces. My downfall. The second I realized, I called the chief to come arrest me, and he got here right on time. Miss Gator, where is my daughter? Oh, she's right there. Hi, Daddy. Oh, Griselda, are you all right? Yeah, I came down to see what all the noise was. Why is there a hole in our wall? Walls can't stop justice, little girl. You were upstairs in your room the whole time? But what about the ransom note? Daddy, I just wanted a pony. I don't know why you'd call the cops. So you asked the Inspector Gator to kidnap you? That's very elaborate. What? No, I never. Well, that's my daughter. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't even remember kidnapping you. But I guess I must have. Cuff me, Chief. Ugh. We're all free to go. I got Library Brooks to sort. Not so fast. I might be the kidnapper, but I'm not the only criminal here. Red Herring! You violated parole by hanging out with me all day. Shucks. Polly? Ah, uh, yes. I've been embezzling from the school. I'm sorry. Huh? I was going to warn you that I found an expiration date sticker on that app. It hasn't even expired yet. I just didn't want you to eat the sticker by mistake. Oh, but I'm busted now, right? S super busted. Chief! Wait, Mr. Crime said he wasn't pressing charges for the wall. I think you're fine. Actually, I have several unpaid parking tickets. Wait, no, that's not his voice. His voice is... Actually, I have... Zip. No, what's his voice? Actually, actually, I have several on pre parking tickets. Oh, then... Chief, you have several unpaid parking tickets. A crime most severe. And lastly, brother. I'll put the diamonds back, I swear. Can I ask you to bring my favorite pillow to jail for me later? I can't sleep very well without it. Oh. Um, sure. Well, that about wraps this up. Come on, everyone. Let's go to jail. I'll lead the way. I'm fine. Hey, I'm feeling kind of left out. I did crimes too, okay? You should investigate in some thicker walls. Farewell, citizen. Sorry I tricked you, Daddy. Griselda? Tricking your own father at your age? You do so well in life. Oh, Papa! This is such, this is such a wonderful moment. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm intruding. I mean, in an emotional way instead of just a legal one. Come here. And later, you should go in the study. I think I saw an early birthday present in there. Actually, I wouldn't wait on that. I forgot to cut any air holes in that pony-sized packaging. Hold on. How do I keep getting away with this? I definitely did at least eight crimes today. I mean, I assaulted a police officer. That's got to count for something, right? There's something fishy about this whole mess. I mean, I definitely stole that clock. How did Red Herring get sent to jail? Crimes went on to hang out with their new pony. Ponies are people in this universe, I guess. I'm not actually sure. Polly found that prison wasn't very different from running a kindergarten class. The chief was able to convince the judge to waive his parking fees because the chief is also the judge. He is also the jury and some other stuff too. Red Herring and Investigator were extremely arrested. They went on to be cellmates in jail. Instigator brought, all, <laughs> brought his brother his favorite pillow. He's starting to suspect something. You haven't told him anything, right? Right, Red Herring? Uh-oh. Are you talking to me? Is there anyone else on the call? Um, no? I don't know what voice to do then, yet. Well then, instigator maybe may suspect something is wrong. Still out of prison. If Investigator had it turned himself in for that fake kidnapping, it would have gone off without a hitch. You'll get me out of here soon, right? It 
may take a bit, but yes, we'll pull some strings. Hello. Thanks, Mr. President. Hello. Hey, who are you talking to? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Red Harrington. We're also cellmates. I'm the reason he's in jail. We're still friends, though. Cut transmission, cut transmission. That means hang up the phone, Red. A few days later. So wait, we're having a trial? Thought I already went to jail at the end of the last case. Yeah, you did, but it's been a busy few days, and now we're on trial for a whole bunch more. Frankly, that's ridiculous. I should be on trial. <coughs> Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Listen, let me do the talking, okay? Hold that log agree for a reason. I think I can make it clear exactly who the guilty party is. Okay. Order in the court. All um rise. Everyone is risen? Okay. Ahem. Investigator? Since you voluntarily went to jail for the kidnapping of Griselda's crime, you've been busy. Your charges are as follows. Kidnapping, thievery, forgery, slander, jailbreaking, breaking and entering, aiding and abetting a pronoun parole violator, making me work late on a Friday, and murder. Murder? Well, we'll get to that one. Investigator. Investigator. As a defendant's lawyer, you can make an opening statement. I mean, I'd rather you didn't. If this trial takes more than 45 minutes, I'm Mr. News tonight. Oh, I should add that as a charge. Anyway, your opening statement. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I've got a few options. A few different character angles, yeah. Uh, which one am I gonna take? The investigator is a pillar of this community, and I just and I don't just mean that he's tall and cylindrical. Gee, when you forgot how to open your door, who let you in your office? When you dropped your sandwich on the sidewalk, who was still willing to eat it? In the case of the big ghost, who proved that the real big ghost was in our hearts all along? If my brother goes to jail, think of all the crimes that won't get caught. For example, all of my crimes. The crimes I committed. I did these crimes. The crimes were in the in court talking about. I did those. I did the crime. Wait, so you're telling me you did the crime? Y yes! My brother's trying to take credit for my hard work and I simply won't stand for it. I did every crime! Well, not the jailbreak. I think he did that one. But I probably helped! Actually, the jailbreak is a good place to start. That's the first crime, right? Your Honor, can we all agree that jail is where all the bad guys go on account of how crimes are bad? Absolutely. But Your Honor, my client is not in jail right now. Isn't that proof that he's a good person? Ergo, uh, ergo, lorium ipsum? De facto, etc. Requisite? In pa, in pace? Veni Vidi <laughs> Veni Vidi Vici Danny DeVito <laughs> That's Latin I rest my case Your Honor The prosecution needs to cut in here I'm not completely sure All of that was in Latin For example I'm pretty sure Danny DeVito is Italian That's reasonable doubt Sustained. Your Honor, I can ask about the pro I can ask about the prosecution. Why is there a six-year-old child here? Daddy said it was important to get a stranglehold on the justice system at an early age. Plus, I'm getting loads of extra kindergarten credit. Wow. 
I'm gonna get destroyed in this case. Well, let's go over exactly what happened, shall we? Right back from the start of the jail cell. Sure thing. Let me see. I can't believe they made us sell, Mike. I'm glad to have a familiar face around here. But really, jail isn't so bad. I like the sad guitar ambiance. It's stressing me out. Kind of reminds me of sad of a sad western. The friendly sidekick always dies in westerns. I don't, I don't like it. Oh. Like it to ride a horse? Huh? I'm still unclear on if horses are people. Huh? I hope that gets cleared up. <laughs> okay, well, I can probably get us out of here. I just need something to dig huh? with. I'll ask around. Hamshank huh? Dimension. Huh? So what's with this poster? Huh? I'm gonna do a thing from a movie I saw. Huh? This guy huh? hangs up a poster in jail and then 30 years later, he realizes there was a hole behind it in the wall. Huh? I call top bunk. There's only one bunk. Dum, dum. I call bunk. Huh? Dum, dum. That's my favorite pillow. Dum, 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 dum. Instigator dum. dropped it off for me earlier. Now I feel at home. Uh -huh. Hey. This? Yeah, what is that? that? What kind of cone collection? Dumb. Ah, what? Hey. Title, Aggressively Anime Elf. Self-esteem team building. Despite truly being a 400-year-old 12th world dragon sage, Uvu disguises themselves in an, an ordinary 21-year-old. Elf dev, Joe, I'll steal as much monster cheese from the dining hall as I want, Todd. For me. You know what? When I decided to start an elf collection, I didn't know that they, they could look like that. Why did that elf have no head? What does Ubu mean? I decided to never contemplate Ubu again. Woo! That's a lot off my mind. Good. I Smart. This investigator guy's a fucking genius. Huh? It's Polly. Huh? Huh? Wow, huh? almost everyone in jail is someone I arrested, huh? huh? Sure glad cops are so popular in prison. Huh? How's it going? I'm in jail. You put me in jail. Huh? Good times. Huh? That looks important. What's it do? The button? I no idea. Let's find out. Huh? If I don't get us out of here soon, the president's gonna be so mad at my... Um... Um... Nothing happened. Try hitting it again. Oh, there's a little label. <clears throat> oh, there's a little label on the bottom. The secret smuggling tunnel is property of Mr. Crime. Please do not touch. Oh, guess I better not touch it again. Yep. This seems like a fair course of action. What's with the barrel? I think my cell is also a wine cellar. They must be running out of room. I do catch lots of crooks. Big wheel. I don't know what this thing DM is. What's this thing DM? That's the exit from jail. I'm not even sure if the door is actually locked. I don't dare check because the warden is back there. The warden scares me very, very much. Psst. Hey! Oh, it's my brother, Instigator, here at the scene of the jail. Who are you even talking to? Doing a bit? Stop doing this bit. 
What's up? Shh. Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. Thought I heard a guard. You know how hard it was to sneak in here? I don't think anyone will notice me behind their stock image billboard of the sky, though. <laughs> Anyways, listen. Turns out it's absolutely no fun to do crimes without you around. Not that you'd ever do a crime. Yeah, not that I'd ever do a crime. Anyway, I sent you a cake. Ask a warden about it. The warden? Investigator, don't be mean. He's just a nice old man. Anyway, let me know when you get the cake. And be sure to look inside. Hint, hint. They'll say I took the name too literally. Okay, here it goes. Huh? Hello? What was that, Sonny? Uh, yeah, huh? I, uh, uh, my brother said there's a cake for me. Oh, a cake? Mm, a cake? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me look around. Yeah, there's a cake here for you. Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Warden. Sir. <laughs> hey, wait. There's something in this cake. <laughs> wow. Is this some kind of chisel? It's really dangerous. The thing I noticed, my brother sure can be clumsy sometimes. What if I swallowed this chisel? Then he'd have then we wouldn't have a chisel. Mr. Warden, please take this chisel anywhere, but anywhere nobody in jail can be hurt by it. Thanks, son. No problem, sir. How to thank my brother for the thoughtful cake. Ah, the outside world. I lived there once. I wonder what's out there. Maybe should I should get a closer look. Fuck you, viper, bitch, fucker. <laughs> Thanks for the cake. It looks delicious. Nah, right, right, nah. Have you looked inside it yet? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Chocolatey ganache? <laughs> no. Uh, nah, nah, right. I mean, yes, it's chocolate ganache. Thanks for noticing. But, <laughs> but did you find anything else? <laughs> oh, I found a chisel. Pretty clumsy of you, bro. I turned it right in. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay, well, look, here's something important. I have to, there's something important I have to go do. I have to go get to the bottom of the big mystery. Huh? Sounds fun. Huh? Not gonna ask what the big mystery is? Oh, I can if you like. What's the big mystery? No, no, it's pronounced the big mystery. Anyway, I want to know why I'm not in jail. Not that you, not that I should be in jail. Anyway, be safe in there, okay? Go uh, earn some jail bucks or something. Ask the warden about them. It's gonna make me run on the fucking wheel for jail bucks. Dude, the voices are fucking hard. Uh, Mr. Warden? <gasps> What was that, Sonny? I'm supposed to ask about jail bucks, TM? You want to know about jail bucks, huh? Jail bucks, huh? Jail bucks, huh? Jail bucks are the hot new sensation everybody's talking about. Earn five jail books for just one rotation on the wheel. We got real cheap at the police auction. It used to belong free to play mobile game. For well, 50,000 jail books, you can purchase a jail coin, which can be exchanged for prizes. Hmm. I'm not. Of course, the prison takes 50% of all jail coin earnings rounded up. We've got to pay the bills somehow. You can also trade big jail bucks for overdue sentence at the rate of one million per year. Do, do, huh? I'm not doing any of this. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
Huh? Dum, huh? Dum. Just not really into microtransactions. Sorry. Huh? Well, huh? that was a bust. Maybe someone else has an idea. I kind of want to run on the huh? jail. Huh? Not touching that thing. I kind of wanted to run on the wheel. Hey, can you hit that button again? Seems important to you. How many jail bucks can you offer? Oh, sorry. Seems important to you. How many jail bucks can you offer? I really don't want to get into the whole jail economy. Oof, zero jail bucks, huh? Sorry, just can't do it. Gotta keep that hustle going, you know? Ain't no rest for the wicked and all that. No problem. I'm sure it's not important. Oh, hold on. Are you guys talking about a button to open up this secret passage? I'll go over in the jail buff. See if it's so important. Shake. Come on, Red. You can do it. You know how hard it is. You always don't have eggs. <gasps> Almost there. Oh, so we're going to be here for a while. Can we just go with the ham shank dimension post to play and play? We can get really into chess. Maybe there's even some jail mysteries to solve. Wait, I have an idea. What if you just... Spin the... Spin the... Oh! Boom! 100,000 jail bucks! Is this forgery? Shh. And I think it's only forgery if you use a real forge. Okay, how's 100,000... 100 million jail bucks out? Just buy our way out of jail directly with this kind of money. I'm committed to the secret passage you're talking about now. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Get the fuck out of here, fish. Let's go! So hold on. There was just a button that opened the escape tunnel? And it said property of Mr. Crime on it? You're on, you're on at the house of smuggling tunnel? How is that? Your honor, the owner of the smuggling tunnel isn't really relevant to this case. Also, my father owns a lot of buttons. Most likely property of Mr. Crime referred to the button itself. Reasonable. I don't see why we need to look into this tunnel any further. Farther? Father? Is it further or farther? I need to know before we can continue this try. I think it's maybe either. I don't see why we need to look into this tunnel any either. It's, it's further. Shh. I don't want to miss anything. Hey. God damn it, dude. Switching between the voices like this is hard. Hey, is that Polly in the audience? Did they let you out of jail? I spent enough jail bucks to get released early. The judicial system is a wonderful thing. Actually, that, actually, that reminds me. That trip worth the jail bucks seems like a pretty clear admission of the forgery charge, Your Honor. <laughs> The forgery charge was about jail books. Well, we'll have to drop that one. The warden was very clear that jail books aren't actually legal tender. Tender. Probably the def probably definitely not legal, actually, were his exact words. I would arrest that warden, but I don't want to get close enough to cuff him. Okay, well, we're actually making some charges dropped. Maybe I'm a good lawyer after all. Well, here, let me try out a new defense idea. Sometimes you can leave jail early if you're on parole, right? Check this out. Make, just make, 
investigator his own parole officer. Huh? Sounds legal. This department is all about legal things. Go on. I will. Here's the great part. Investigator breaks parole. His parole officer instantly knows about him. It's the ultimate big brother system. Except instead of big brother tattling, it's himself. Hold on. There's a problem there. If investigator breaks parole, then so does his parole officer. That means his parole officer is the is in on the crime. Now they're both in conspiracy. That's way more illegal. Objection! I object to this illegal activity. Conspiracy is a crime. Wow. Okay, don't apply that crimes will happen. Noted. Wait, can the judge even object? No. You know what? He can. I'm not even going to test that. I have lots more gavels back here, and I will keep throwing them. Your Honor, maybe let's move things along a bit. Ah, um, yes. Where were we? Hmm, where was I? That's a great question. I was tracking down the proof that I'm his history's greatest criminal. Greatest like I'm really great at, like, petty theft and stuff. Gotta keep this game rated E. Anyways, while Investigator was breaking out of jail... Okay, only the second time I've broken into the police station this week. This is actually a record low for me. I've been busy, I guess. My priority should be finding Red Herring's case file. And maybe inspect anything my brother thought was unimportant. You never know. Okay, seems like a plan. Chirp. Who is this? Instigator, what do you want this time? Uh-oh. Chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, listen. We're a little shorthanded at the moment. Chirp, 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 the chief's chirp, exhausted chirp, chirp, from repairing his office, and our lead detective is in jail. Chirp, 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 I leave chirp, for chirp. one hair appointment, and the whole place just falls apart. Chirp, chirp, so chirp, I'll ask chirp, you to keep chirp, this chirp. visit short. What crime do you need to report or confess to? I found half a sandwich in those cabins last time I was here. <laughs> I wonder what else I could find. Chirp, 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 chirp. Don't even think about going near that. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Do you even have any idea how hard it is for a 1.8 ounce bird to reorganize a pile of metal cabinets? Uh, well, that's in metric? How's it going, Roxy? Chirp, 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 like chirp. Like I chirp. said, it's a mess here. Please make it snappy, whatever it is. Chirp, 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 chirp. And just once, don't steal anything, all right? Na, na. Ha, ha, Bill. Chirp, chirp. Yes, hello, I'm right here. Chirp. Hold it! Chirp, 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 chirp. You're trying to get in the back room again, aren't you? The, the what? Why would I need to go to the interrogation room right now? Chirp, 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 Not chirp, that chirp. back room. The other back room. The evidence locker. I am, um, 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 yowie! Okay, don't panic. She doesn't suspect anything yet. How should I get in there? Threaten, flirt, and sneak. Hey, <laughs> hey, Bit baby. Chirp, 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 oh, chirp, chirp, chirp. Definitely keep going with this one. This is the one for sure. I, your eyes uh, spark, spark like uh, sparkling s s cider. Chirp, 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 chirp. The chirp, eyes chirp. behind very dark sunglasses. Yes, go on, go on. Spark, spark sparkling like. Oh, the, the evidence in the evidence room. Please let me in. Chirp. Nah. It was worth a shot. Chirp, chirp. Try complimenting my hair. Your hair is very nice. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I know, right? Try being more specific. Your hair uh glistens like pale dew in the moonlight. Chirp, 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 Oops. chirp, chirp, chirp. Sorry, I was looking for pale dew in the starlight. So close. 
Listen, you're gonna let me back there if you know what's good for you. Chirp. Oh, yeah? Chirp, chirp, chirp. What's gonna happen if I don't? Be specific, please. Right. Um, uh, things that are not good for you, which you know if you let me back there. Chirp. Try it, kid. That's all good for you. I would like to completely rethink my approach here because you're terrifying me. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. What if I just use the uh, smoke bomb? Chirp, chirp, chirp. You're supposed to run away during the smoke bomb. But what if you tripped and hurt yourself? What if I tripped and hurt myself? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Don't quit your day job, Gator. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Or I chirp, guess chirp. maybe do. You're not very good at that either. Right. I'm running out of ideas chirp, here. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Have you tried asking politely and directly? I think so. Chirp. You haven't. Right. No. Um, here goes. Please. Chirp, chirp. Yeah, okay. Go on back. Really? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Yeah, I really. It's my lunch break anyway. Chirp. But... Chirp, 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 chirp. Looking only. Don't steal anything. I'm warning you. Never. Right. Scouts honor. Chirp, 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 chirp. It's right down the end of the hall, as you know. Chirp, chirp. Don't make me regret it. What the hell is that? That's an elf. Oh, right. Hey, are you an elf? Oh, no. I'm the detective from Jakus. Here to apply for the, de the vacant detective position. The investigator is in jail. Chat Noir. Detective always finds the perp. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not an elf. Please don't put me in the elf room. I don't actually work here, so hey, go nuts. Stay if you want. Pour yourself some coffee. Thanks. Boy, it sure would be terrible if someone fired that cannon. No, it actually would. I'm not going near that thing. Yikes. Is that a human skull? Wait, what's a human? That's... Wow, they kept that? I think that's a sea mine for when Uncle Navigator was getting haunted by the ghost of Big Oil. I was there too. It was Thanksgiving. Family get-togethers, you know? I still have the rubber ghost mask. And that was an adventure. I wonder why there isn't a game about that. Weirdly enough, these cones are actually evidence. I'm an awful driver. And I love stealing cones. Hmm. More ketchup. I'm on the right track. Ah, here we go! Let's see here. Stole a clock. Violated parole. I don't see anything too incriminating about... <gasps> hey, wait! What's this clip to the back? Items confiscated from jail cell. Oh, oh, oh. I've got you... Excuse me. I've got you now, slime ball. I'll make you unpay. I did those crimes. I do the time. Anyway, that's all I need here, so I guess I'll just mosey on out. I don't know what that's evidence of. I guess I'm not involved in every crime in this town. I'll have to talk to my agent later. I'm clearly missing out on some crimes. That's an elf if I've ever seen one! Arvin Nettle El Nettle Levine. Elf Gecko. Sto talent storage. After a spell, this elf turned into part gecko. Also has an extra belly to store anything. Gross. Feed him at least five times a day, else you'd find your stuff missing. Slurp. Well, there, I've done the police station a favor. That's a ge that gecko elf was definitely eating all the evidence. That, or it was re reorganizing the cabinets, and I just kidnapped a staff member. I love crime. Ah, what a good nap. Well, time to patrol the station and get mad at everyone I see. That sounds like my cutest skedaddle. See 
you suckers! And that's when I got out of there. So you broke into the police station? Maybe you did the crimes. Chirp, chirp. Nah, I let him in. Chirp, chirp. He's harmless. Oh, come on. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Watching chirp, you try chirp, to incriminate chirp. yourself is really entertaining. What can I say? Oh, hey, well, let's talk about the evidence. I pilfered from Red Herring's case file. The tiny walkie-talkie. Oh, what? You took my spa talk 3000. I was wondering where it went. My mom gave me that. Can I have it back? No, because I stole it as one of my many crimes that I should be incarcerated for. I won't press charges. I just want it back. Ah! This is getting pretty off topic. How's this, how's this relate to investigator's case? Easy. That Spy Talk 3000 is how I track down the real perp. Uh, the perp of unframing me. But you're not on trial. But I should be. Look, this is the last part of the story that investigator isn't in on, okay? I was barely out of the station when things started ringing. Boy, rip. Wait, what voice do I do for this fucking thing? Hey, Red, come on in. How's jail going? Do they have any of those little hotel soaps? I love those. Grab some for me, okay? I don't even know what this accent is, but I, I'm doing it. Oops, sorry. No, not Red. Red got his radio receiver confiscated in prison, I think. That's when I swiped it from the police station evidence room. It's mine now. So how's it going, new pen pal? Hey, your investigator. You must be the you must be the person trying to unframe me for all my crimes. And I wouldn't have gotten away with them too if it weren't for your meddling. I'm sorry. Do you want me to go get caught? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Do you want to go get caught? It's it's unclear. Mostly, I just don't like someone else taking credit for my handiwork. I'm not a big, I'm not a big from the shadows kind of guy. Well, you getting arrested will ruin everything. Anyone getting arrested ruins everything, really. That's why we're breaking your brother out of prison. Everything, huh? How's this for something that'll ruin your plans? What if I get to the bottom of this whole thing? <laughs> You're not half the alligator your brother is. You'll never solve this web of mysteries. Oh no, I'll never solve this web of mysteries. Yeah, you'll never be able to solve this web of, web of mysteries. Yeah, I just said that. And that's enough stalling. I've been tracking this call the whole time. You're somewhere in crime matter, aren't you? Yeah, you better run. I'm on the way. The only one going to jail for my crimes is me, buddy. It's like, it's like half Jason State. What do you mean? I've done like nine voices, man. So that proves that, huh? Wait, what is investigator on trial for again? Chirp, chirp. Uh, let me check the stenography. Chirp, chirp, or the chirp, scenography. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Kidnapping, thievery, forgery, slander, jailbreaking, and breaking and entering. Chirp, 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 oh, chirp. aiding and abetting a known parole violator, chirp, chirp, chirp. making me work late on a Friday, chirp. and murder. Huh. Murder? Chirp, chirp. We'll get to that. I don't remember the murder. Can we get to the murder now? No. Okay, well, I'm the one who did the thievery, which I guess they aren't pressing charges. Or, and we've proven the jailbreak was more of a jail... Walk out? Where exactly did you go after you walked out anyway? Oh, it was a whole adventure. Huh? Do you? Do you want to tell the court about it? Yep. Oh, now? Okay, just do the fade out to the flashback. Let's go. Where? Oh, we. Huh? My keen sense of direction always knows. Huh? We're underground. 
Did you know that most of the earth is underground? Huh? Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm starting to think we're a little lost. <laughs> I'm starting to think we should go back to jail. I'd rather spend 30 years locked in a cell than 30 years wandering around underground. Hey, that's quitter talk. This is exactly the kind of adventure they write young adult novels about. We can be stars. Speaking of stars, I hope I see the stars again. Oh, I guess we can't go this way. Why is there a turnstile in a cave? Hmm? Gotta pay for cave maintenance somehow, I guess. It's like there's a slot for a quarter. Better start hunting for change. Yeah. Her style should really accept bartering. Yeah. We should be able to trade these crystals for at least five or six turns, you know? Yeah. The crystals, of course. Of course, what? Yeah. Is this a break is this a break in a case? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It just felt like the right thing to say in the moment. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. It's some kind of ancient hieroglyphic rune. Yeah. It's a slide in puzzle. Yeah. If we unlock its ancient secrets. It might lead us to a way out. It's just the slide in puzzle. Watch and learn. I know exactly how to do these sliding puzzles. Okay, I slid all the tiles right out of there. That's not... Oh, no. Put those back. We're going to get in trouble. All right, I guess I can put... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My kitchen floor will go untiled a little longer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Order doesn't really matter, right? I think they were something like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh! Aha! Exactly what I expected would happen. That's incredible. I thought a chest with a key in it would appear or something. What's a turn? What's a vending machine doing in a cave? Probably the same thing a turnstile is doing in a cave. Sorry, that was kind of sassy. I'm sorry, that was unnecessary. Sorry. Maybe the coin return button will work. A whole quarter. We're rich. But I want. I think I'm going to buy some chips. You want? <laughs> you want anything? <laughs> I don't. Didn't you need that quarter for something else? Huh? Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm slotting in a quarter. Excellent. Hey, Red, I think we're good to go. We're gonna lock Red out, watch. We're finally getting out of here. Come on, let's go. I feel like we should be more concerned about why all this technology's in this cave. Should we um investigate? I'm sure it'll sort itself out. And then it sorted itself out. Did it though? Why was there a vending machine and a turnstile in a cave? Uh, <coughs> Your Honor, we can assume the alleged vending machine was there to purchase snacks from. Perhaps snacks brands are the preferred snack of the alleged tunnel alleged owner. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. You're just saying that to sound like you know what she's talking about. No, I'm just saying it because it's allegedly fun to say. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to get this trial back on track with a witness. Certainly. Did I miss the elf? Shit, I'm sorry. Please state your name for the court. Bartholomew Cry. Huh? I thought your name was Mr. Oh, I just go by Mr. It's actually my middle name. Occupation? Philanthropist? professionally donate money to every part of this town. Legal system. I get that money through? Means. That reminds me. We are supposed to put up the new court decorations today. In with the new, destroyed everything old, as they say. I feel like, I feel like this is hurting the symbolism of the scales a bit, you know?
Oh, I feel like this is hurting the symbolism of the scales a bit, you know? <laughs> I found the scale as evidence once. I'm sorry I sidetracked this court. Philanthropize, that's my profession. Oh, and I am a proud single father. Can we get on with this, please? Oh, um, yes, of course, sweetie. Name? Name, occupation, what's next? What's next? Ah, you were going to testify that defendant did a breaking and entering on your house. So officially, I'm so proud. Oh my god. Trust me, I understand the feeling of family members being overbearing. Mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Navigator always was a little much, wasn't? Uh, <clears throat> Uncle Navigator always was a little much, huh? Tell me about the day of the breaking and entering. Ah, uh, well, normally, I would of course be happy to take, happy to have Investigator in our home. But there were some fairly serious breaches of our privacy this time. For once, that wasn't either of us, though, actually. That was all on the real perp, who is actually in this room right now. Let me tell you how it went down. Back at Crime Manor, I felt like I left here. I, I live here at this point. Time to track down this creep once and for all. Nobody takes credit for my crimes. Oh, hey, a mace. I've been looking all over for that thing. I guess I left it here when I... Well, never mind that. Mostly, I don't understand why Mr. Crime keeps his outdoor trash cans in his gallery. Although, now that there's a hole in the... <laughs> Sorry. Now that there's a hole in the wall, I guess it's a convenient. I guess it's convenient to take out. I'd love to steal the clock again, but I got bigger fish to fry. I might mean that literally. Not sure yet. It seems too obvious, right? Of course, there's something hidden behind this painting. <laughs> Aha! Gah! Oh, hey, bro. Is there someone up there? They're really heavy. Please get off my head. When did you get... He... You know what? I'm... I'm glad I could see you. I'm glad to see you. I could do some backup. Where are we? We've been here twice this week. My internal compass says we should be somewhere below Crom Anna. Doesn't ring a bell. All right. Look, let's just head into this secret passage. Whoever's been unframing me is in there, and they have a lot of explaining to do. Gah! We're too late! He closed the blast door! <laughs> You're too late. I've closed the... I forgot how his accent went. I've closed... I... Mm. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, by the way. Ha ha ha. You're too late. I've closed the blast door. Now that I'm safely hidden in the... That's not his fucking voice. Now that I'm hidden safely in here, you'll never catch me. Which leaves me plenty of time to drone on about my evil plan. You see, my story begins long ago in the distant tundras of the northern... Of north... Northern North Bermuda. Which is actually just east of here. Actually... It's more like northeast. Let me open up a cartography app I have it on my spy phone and figure this out. And I don't care. I'm going to get to this mace and break this wall in. I feel like we're too late. The blast doors are closed. Too stressful for me. I need to stress eat. Let me know if you need help figuring anything out, yada yada, you know. I um I don't really follow what's going on, but my brother seems really upset. It's time to do what I do best. Detectivize. No card detected. Hmm. Will my credit card do? Wrong kind of card, buddy. I only accept the red key card. Although I do take tips if you're offering the red key card, huh? I lost the nuclear codes. Let me just know. Wait, found them. Everything's fine. Hey, that must be the the card key for the door. The hey, no, nope. That's a uh, more of a vermilion, maybe a scarlet. Definitely not what you need. 
I doubt that very much. I really say it's more of a crimson, if anything. Speaking as kind of an expert on the color red, that's torch red. It's a very popular shade for sports cars and warning signs. It's said to evoke passion. Uh, I mean, I think, sorry, you probably don't care. Sure, I've run into a lot of vending machines today. Someone must have must be a huge fan of Snacks Corporation and affiliates. All these blank and white. Everyone would probably be mad if I messed with it. You better resist the temptation. Uh, okay, that's not fair. I didn't even do anything this time. Oh, I fixed it. Elf. Oh, I didn't fix it at all. It was this funny little guy all along. Bill. Title, Computer Repair Elf. Talent, 2007-2009. Quiet Game World Champion winner. Has an organic vegetable garden and likes to throw potlucks on Tuesday nights. Thank you, Elf. You're a nice Elf. This thing's awfully loud and distracting. Maybe I could turn it off down here. Oh! Oops. Oh, hey! Come on! That thing was 4K ready! Progress. But I can't really get into it with all this stuff in the way. Well, I'm sure that can be fixed. Well, I'm sure that can't be fixed. Ah! At last! The blue key card. Wait a minute. This isn't right. Tinted glass, huh? I guess we should have seen that coming. There's plenty in this room. Then where's the red key card? How did you think? How'd you think? Ah, fuck. How'd you think I... <laughs> I can't... Oi, brother. How'd you think I got in here in the first place, huh? Face it, investigator. I've thought of everything, and there's nothing you can do about it. Hey, investigator. I bet you can never solve this mystery. Possibly. There's plenty of mysteries I've never solved. Like, what's the difference between who and whom? Or, whom's the mysterious figure behind the blast doors? Whoa, and I lost about five, five million of diamonds in a case just last week, but I'm sure they'll turn up. Yeah, stuff like that usually turns up. Once I spent 30 minutes looking for a sinister eye patch before realizing I was wearing it the whole time. This one, you'll never solve no matter how much I goad you into solving it. I needed some tape, but it's not just any tape. Only the finest tape would do. As we all know, the finest tape in the world is made in Swaziland. Have you looked closely around the room for clues? You never want to miss little details, you know? For example, if you find any money, I would really like to spend it on this vending machine. Mm -hmm. Oi. It actually does take an oi. Oh, there's got to be a dollar fifty here. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone asked me for some loose change. Mm -hmm. Here's that change you were looking for. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. This is why they say you're the best detective. Oh. You really look out for the little guy. Oh. Um, I mean, you're actually kind of the littlest guy I know, oh. which would mean you'd look out for yourself. Uh, oh, oh no, I, I'm sorry. Th thank you. Yep. Boy, howdy, though. I'm starting to really run out of ideas. I think this, is, I think this nefarious mastermind I have actually made this room unsolvable. Yeah, I mean, I'm no quitter, but I think we should quit. I guess that's the exact definition of a quitter. Oh, well, I just want to go home. Ah, oh, finally. Huh? Maybe that wouldn't be so bad. He could be like the new Moriarty for me. I keep finding new crimes and he keeps telling me he did them. Boy, that seems like the best option. 
Go with that. Go home and solve some more crimes tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Now, well, I'm back. Whoa! Oi, whoa, hey, Chase! I'm going to solve this case! I have a stomach ache. I don't know if it's from eating that burger so fast or all the stress. I don't like it. Gosh, I'm gonna crack a case with my brother. Just what I've always wanted. What if they won't let me in with the blue key card? What if I made it red? I am a genius. I have a key card and it is red. Good enough for me, buddy. Boy, I, um. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Well. Hello. Hey there. It's time for me to explain everything. After the. Hey, can you stop banging on the cyberglass, please? But it's so. But it's so cathartic. But yeah, okay, I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> After the end of World War II, the world was split into, well, two. Land and sea. Land dwellers would go out to the sea and cast great terrible nets out to catch fish by the hundred. As populations went up, so did the consumption. Fish retaliated by inventing sharks, a new kind of fish that are very, very hungry all the time. Tensions mountain. Till finally, things came to a head in an event known as the Tuna Gristle Crisis. Huh? The Tuna Gristle Crisis, huh? Yeah. A nuclear rocket scientist choked on a particular fatty piece of tuna. World leaders declared it an act of aggression. The Cold War has become heated, like some sort of warm war. Huh? Sounds terrible. It was. Have you ever been a cold fish that's turned warm, investigator? It is terrible. So enough. They built the tail film wall. The amphibious families were split in twain on both sides. Tragic. That's when the shadowy organization behind all of the world's governments Boy. <laughs> the sea supersonic stepped in and <laughs> stop 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 <laughs> this is getting ridiculous stop making things up <laughs> i thought we were going for mystery not espionage and intrigue <laughs> I, I like even spread of genres i think it helps draw more global interest <laughs> and mom said i get to be president of the club for the whole week so stop pulling my rank, Mr. Vice President. <laughs> well, this mystery isn't fun. How anyone's supposed to crack the big case and unmask the bad guy? <laughs> Excuse me? Did you say club? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the president. This week, anyway. <laughs> I'm the vice president and treasurer. <laughs> I wanted to be the <laughs> sergeant at arms, too, but neither of us knew what that meant. Pizza fish. <laughs> what? What club exactly? The uh, fan club? For your biggest fans. Uh, investigators specifically, but you're you're a great villain for him to thwart. My brother's no villain. I don't know if thwart is fair. Maybe, you know, delays me. Inconveniences me. Maybe. When it looked like you'd go to jail for a crime, we had to run in and take the fall. How can we read all investigators' novel if investigator is in jail? Novels? Novels? Yeah, all the novels about your adventures. I don't... Novels? Did you... Did you not know about the novels? They're really cool. I loved Investigator in the case of the spaghetti mistake. And I know what happens after Investigator in the mystery of Crime Manor. And I gotta know what happens after the Investigator in the mystery of Crime Manor. And I'm in that one, you know. What about me? What about Investigator's Big Break? 
it's when I that's when he got his start. Hmm? I remember that. Hmm? The big break was pretty serious. It was a pretty serious tibia fracture. I couldn't walk for months. What about what about investigators? Investigator and the mountaintop's riddle. And the ancient text turned out to be a typo when it was really the mountaintop griddle. Great flapjacks up there, I'll tell ya. Oh, oh, oh. What about novels? How about you people? Oh, <clears throat> how do you people keep getting in my house? And why are you in my daughter's secret spa zone playhouse? Oh, Mr. Crime, do you have a secret spy zone in your house? My name is Mr. Crime. Oh, why do you have one in your... Sorry. You figure it out? I can read. I've just been doing this for two and a half hours and it's wearing on my voice. Boy, that hallway's dark. I bet you could hide all kinds of clues in there. Oh. Absolutely can. Mm. My secretary hatchway is open. Oh, my secret hatchway. God damn it. Were you in my smuggling tunnel? Is that a tunnel for juggling, but like in a really con condescending way? I can see why you'd need a whole tunnel for that. Mm. Mm. Where did my ancestral clock go? And where did that big sack of money f come from? I got distracted when looking for my mace, okay? Is that? That's right. It's a talking bag. I feel like I should maybe call the cops. That's my clue. My God, you're punctual. Tack dollars at work, eh? Not that I... <clears throat> Never mind. All right, let's see here. Mr. Crime, our bad guy investigator. Is that Red Herring? Red Herring, you are under arrest. Yeah, yeah, that figures for today. That figures for this week, really. I'm out of here. You know what? You're all under arrest. Everyone except Mr. Crime, of course. Oh. We can have a whole trial. I'll break out of my judge's wig. I'll break out my judge's wig and everything. And then you burst through the ceiling and shouted, let's have a trial. I know I was there for that part. The prosecution will concede that Sam and Salmon was responsible for the breaking and entering. The investigator did some entering and investigator did some breaking, but neither of them did both, so they're clean. I should go to law school. I'm clearly very good at this. As I was saying earlier, the real perp is Salmon Salmon. Who's in this room right now? Hello. Okay, so you did the break so you didn't break into my secret spy house playhouse. But you still took my horse. Oh, so okay, the horse was in a bag. The cat's out of the bag. That the horse is in the bag. But I've got the perfect defense for this horse kidnapping charge. Your Honor, have you ever seen a horse? Of course not. I think I thought they were fictional until this trial. Horses are not fictional. <laughs> Objection. That's exactly what the prosecution wants you to think. Mm. Not only am I unclear of if horses are real, but I don't know if it would be kidnapping or stealing to take a horse because I'm not clear on if horses are people. <laughs> right? So I'd rather just drop the charge and I'm the judge so I could do that. That's... That's... <laughs> investigator will stop you wandering around during my big case. <laughs> oh, will you? God damn it. I haven't had much to do during this trial. <laughs> I thought I'd look for clues. <laughs> Or a case. Or some elves. Just sit still for a minute. We can go look for elves after the trial is over, okay? I know how to read! That's assuming you're left off after the trial. We've only beat half the charges, and you're all out of flashbacks. I'll drop the making me work late charges if it means we can end this trial faster. 
Hmm? Wow, nifty. Hmm? Hey, is now a good time to mention that I plan I put the slander charge on myself. I thought it was short for salamander, but it turns out alligators aren't a kind of salamander after all. So you can drop that one too. That just leaves us with the aiding and abetting of a of redheading and herring and the murder. What was the murder again? We'll get to it. Okay, fine. Here comes my lawyerly lawyerly finale. I call red herring to the stand. Oh no. Name and occupation. <laughs> Red herring. Oh, I guess right now my occupation is criminal. <laughs> really like a char a change of careers. <laughs> shouldn't we start or shouldn't we swear him in? I actually you guys put so much pressure on me that I'm actually fucking up every single word now. Cause you made me get in my head. Cause I knew I messed up and it got me it got in my head and now I can't stop thinking about it and now I keep misreading shit. And I know how to fucking read. When you're doing voices and you're going back and forth, sometimes it gets a little confusing and you get tongue twisted and you say the wrong word, okay? Shouldn't we swear him in? Mm -hmm. Swearing is wrong. No. Right. Red herring. You spent the whole day with Investigator during your big breakout, right? Yes. Oh, oh I'm, am I about to be tricked? No, that was it. That's enough to prove he aided and abetted you. Investigator's guilty. Oh. Huh? I am the worst lawyer in the history of lawyers. Chirp. Hold up. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Investigator chirp, can't chirp. go to jail for that because that's why he went to jail last time. Chirp, 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 chirp. Double jeopardy rules. You can't be convicted of the same crime twice. That's true. We made that law to avoid getting bored in repeat trials. Double jeopardy does rule. I am the best lawyer in the history of lawyers. I also wouldn't really say Investigator ever aided me. Honestly, he's caused every problem I've had since I met him. Well then, there's just one more charge to beat. Uh, but to be honest, I don't have any evidence either way on this one. Murder? Ah, the murder charge. Let me tell you all about it. Chirp. Hold on, hold on. Chirp. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Chirp, 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 chirp. Do you have any idea how hard it is to keep up with stenography when you're typing with a beak? Chirp. Go on. Mm. Murder. Uh. Murder? We're getting to it now. Mm. Oh, wait. It says here that this is for next trial. Unrelated case. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. I still get the school credit even if the whole trial falls apart in front of me, right? Absolutely! Oh, oh, then this is fine. Congratulations on doing zero crime somehow. Let's wrap it up so I can go play with my pony in my technological crime dungeon. Only one thing left to do then. Bang the gavel, gavel and yell not guilty. Ahem. <laughs> not Well, I'm out of gavels. Case closed. Get out of here. I still have to move all this equipment to the side. Of I still have to move all the equipment to the side so this place can be used as a roller rink tonight. And then I have to go home to get for the news. Roller rink? Mm -hmm. Well, we did it. Wait. What did we actually do here today? Seems like getting a not guilty feels like undoing a case. We found out that we found out that these two doofe doofe <laughs> these two doofe got really invested in our right in writing themselves into our adventures. Why are there books about us? I need to rob a bookstore later and find out. Sorry about oh, tricking you. 
It was a dream come true getting to be your Watson. Although you were very mean to me, and I'm not sure I'd do it again. Huh? Anytime. Oi. Did you like my elaborate military fiction backstory subplot? It was kind of convoluted. <clears throat> Sorry. It was kind of convoluted. I felt like the more you explained, the less I understood. But hey, maybe there's an audience for that. Have you considered spacing the same story out over 60 or 70 hours? Some people say that adds depth. Please stop dunking on my favorite genre. Wow. This has all been fun, but now that my brother's out of jail, I'm going to get back to my usual shenanigans. Like giving to charity. Sure, whatever. Were we just good? Uh, let's say you're being sent back to jail, but get 100% parole for fantastic behavior. I don't want to do another trial. Okay, thanks, I guess. I'm just gonna say my <laughs> I'm just gonna say my time in jail was enough to cover whatever crime I was in there for in the first place. It was so long ago I can't even remember what it was. And with that, this adventure comes to a close. Everything's all wrapped up. I said everything's all Investigator, an urgent telegram just came in. Your uncle navigator is missing on the high seas. Uh oh, here we go again. Chirp, chirp. Save it for the sequel. We're not doing a sequel. Griselda got an A on her kindergarten paper, my big law day. She got points off for the ending being kind of contrived. Mr. Crime continued to use his smuggling tunnel for, well, you know. Red Herring swore to never get caught up in any criminal shenanigans again. He lasted about a day and a half. I think I missed the first slide because I accidentally double clicked. Instigator stole the clock again. I mean, we all have to assume that, right? Invest. Right, right. We're not getting a sequel. Chirp, 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 chirp. You. Got the new book done while they were blabbing about court stuff. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Do they chirp, know chirp. I'm not actually paid to do stenography? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Well, chirp, I mean, chirp. now I am since I stenographized these books. Roxy went on to make like a billion dollars selling the investigator novels. Story's over, but the goofs aren't. There are a few more jokes and behind the scenes bits over in the Kickstarter Backer Museum. Show me. These are people that kickstarted it? Pretty cool. Dude, I missed an elf. I missed two elves. What's that? That's the thousand elf door. Oh, I have to click the thousand elves to open it then? No, just like six or seven. A bit of a misnomer. There aren't any gnomes at all, just elves. I'm gonna open the. Oh, I'm gonna open the thousand elf door. The lock. I tried to break in. It's impenetrable. Guess I need more elves. Seems like there's been one elf in every location I've been since I visited the school. I feel like I could have found an elf when I was sneaking around the crime man. Come to think of it, are there any elves in the caves? It's a shame we didn't find the elves. But that was fun as hell.
That was really fun. That was fun. Cross was fun. Uh, I thought this game was a little bit longer. So sorry, the stream's a little short. Um, I thought it was like two and a half to three hours. But it was only, it was less than two. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm fucking bummed out. I wanted to play fucking Diablo this weekend. I'm really annoyed. My voice is absolutely shot, so I hope you enjoyed uh I hope you enjoyed that. Did you not pre-order? It's just it's $90 for the pre-order. It's like it's an extra 20 bucks. Like I don't, I don't have it, unfortunately. It's not even like even if it's worth it. Like I I I literally I just don't have it, man. Like I don't. Uh, heat is on Kai, so I'll send you to heat. Uh, oh, the voice is not the pre order. Oh, how's the sponsorship going? Oh, I, I mean, I could talk about it. Uh, with gamer subs, I'm I, I'm I'm launching on Monday. Like I'm good. I signed everything. It's it launches Monday. Monday there'll be some like free shipping or like free samples or something. Like straight up free. Like you actually get it for free. I think even free shipping. I think. But if you haven't yet, make sure to follow the stream. Join the Discord. Check out the Twitter and check out my YouTube. I hope you guys had a good time. It was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I know there was only three streams this week, but we start again Monday. Get that shmoney. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I don't, I don't really have to, it's all about like, you know, it's like just, it's like, it's a partnership. It's not like a sponsorship. It's a partnership. So like if you buy, I you know, 